Upwards of 30 amputee golfers will overtake Dakota Dunes Golf Course this week as the Canadian Amputee National Open unravels. Swinging a club has proven itself the perfect remedy to help improve the lives of amputees. To any new amputees that are out there, young or old, you know, we look forward to you guys carrying on with your life and, and uh, taking up the game of golf, you know, and uh, coming and playing. When people see that um, us amputees can still do everything that anybody else can do, I think it motivates them to, uh, to still go out there and, and do the best they can. Florkowski, a soft-spoken golfer from Medicine Hat, Alberta, was born without a right arm. He first picked up a set of clubs at the age of three, and in 2007, at the age 17, Florkowski was the youngest to compete in the Amputee Open when it was last held in Saskatchewan. Six years later, that first impression continues to stick. Well, that's the type of talent that we have out here. You know, somebody that with, uh, you know, he's got his hands uh, and his skill is, is so good. You know, he's just a, a beautiful golfer to watch. And, uh, you know, he's the, uh, that was 17 years old when he was here before. While some competitors may be missing a limb, they make up for it in raw talent. Golfers like 23-year-old Jesse Florkowski, who only has one arm, can drive a ball 275 yards, a feat unfathomable to most. When first people get the first impression of an amputee golfer, they probably think, oh, he probably can't do that or whatever. But once they see him actually golf, then it's like, yeah, we're here for the real deal to win. It's the uh, ability of some of these guys that are missing either a leg or an arm. Uh, we have one guy coming that's missing both of his legs below the knee. Um, in past tournaments, uh, I've golfed against a fellow that uh, golfs on one leg and uh, uses crutches to get around. And he gets up, drops his crutches, hits the ball, and away he goes. The 54-hole tournament kicks off tomorrow morning and runs through Thursday afternoon. Doreen Geiger, Global News.